5e. What is the greatest possible value for a stat in the cryptorhythm shown here, given that b equals 1? So different letters represent different digits, and no leading digit can equal 0. So none of these digits equal 0. So first, uh, if you're really, really confused with cryptorhythms, it's your first time with them, I will be putting the link um, of our basic videos down in the description below. So you can go look at them and then come back. And if you are, if you think you're ready, let's get on with this. So we're trying to find the greatest possible value for stats. So what that tells us is that we're trying to make stats as large as possible. So I'm gonna start at the very, very head of this, um, of, at the very, very largest place value of stats. And I'm just gonna make that the biggest uh, digit possible, nine. So right away, uh, our 10,000 digits is nine. And we also know that b equals 1. Great. We can just put that right there. And notice that on my list of digits, whenever I have another digit, I'm first writing it down and then crossing it out because it shows us that that digit is already taken. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see, well, which of these would um, make the most sense after this? So. I would do um, four and five on this. If I needed a six, I could use it down here, so there was no point of wasting the six up here. So four and five would go up here as well. Four and five, are you gone? Okay. And I'm starting to notice, like this is kind of, this is kind of like R O T O R. And if you go backwards, it's also R-O-T-O-R, same with level and sounds. So that's just a pattern I see about the words. Now, what would we want this next digit, this next largest digit um, in place value to be? Of course, we'd want that to be the next largest digit, which is 8. Um, but... I don't think, but over here it says that, okay, so let's see if this was 8. And since this is just assuming, I'll turn it into green. So if this was 8, if this was 8, then T up here would also be 8. Then wait, 8 plus 1 would be 9. So that wouldn't make sense because S is already 9. So that meant A won't be 9. So when this type of thing happens, all you have to do is is know that your assumption was wrong. So for me, I'm just gonna, you know, go back and tell myself, okay, so A is, so T cannot equal eight. So the next larger digits after that would be seven, 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 seven plus one equals eight. So do we need to continue filling in O and E? We don't need to, um, because we know that nine seven eight seven nine is our final answer, and we're just trying to find the greatest possible value for stats. So that's all we 